hello. It's nice to see somebody today. Oh, you wonder what I'm doing. Well, my husband and I recently came to this area here and well, we're a little short of money, so I had to have decided to make some baskets. Couldn't do it in the fall very easily. We were a little too late to be able to harvest the willow. But with it being spring, I'm going to be able to use this willow. I went out into the patch, cut down some willow. The type of willow I want is fairly thin. I don't want it to be too, too fat because it's really difficult to work with. Most of the time I'm looking for little pieces like this that are just all one piece, no branches to them. It makes it much easier to, to weave with. I've also been finding a little bit of dogwood. Now dogwood doesn't weave quite as easily as willow does, but it, it has such a nice lovely red bark to it. I can weave the willow with the bark on it, such as this basket here I have with me. This one has the bark on it or we can peel it, which is what I tend to prefer to do, is to peel the willow. To peel the willow, you have to really do it in the spring because you need the sap starting to run in the willow. And once it's started to run and hasn't dried out much this year yet, you can actually peel it fairly easily. You just get it started and you can peel the length of it. Some people save the bark to be able to weave with. It doesn't look like I'm going to get any really good pieces off from this one. If you're going to harvest bark to weave with, you're going to look for a bigger piece than this. So you can get some nice long links. But once you get it peeled, you can actually weave with it while it's green. But the problem is with green willow, it will shrink quite a bit. So most of the time when I peel the willow, I will then turn around and dry it out. Then when I want to weave with it, I will uh, soak it to be able to weave with it. But this one's not too bad of a piece. As you can see, it's, it's pretty flexible and that's what you want. You want a piece of willow that's going to flex. If it tends to break, it's not going to be very good to weave with. So that is what a peeled willow looks like. It will be a nice buff color once it has dried out uh, and I will be able to use it. Sometimes we have bigger pieces of willow like this one. Well, this one's a little thick for me to use. So what we do is we split it. And in order to split it, what I do is I make a cut across and then I make one perpendicular. So I'm trying to split it into basically thirds. Then I take what is known as a cleave. A lot of cleaves are just wooden cleaves, but this one happens to have a metal top on it. And you put that in that cut. And if I got that cut deep enough, it should go right through. Looks like I didn't get that cut quite deep enough on that one side. Part part is getting it started. This is a, a particularly tough willow. I don't know how well it's going to split. Some people just do it with their hands. I'm not, I prefer to use the, the cleave because the cleave will keep it more even.
Okay, there we've got it going now. And as long as I keep the pressure on this pretty even, it will split pretty even. stop it from there. Now you notice in the middle there's this the pith. Now you can't you could leave the pith on but it's not very good for the basket. It makes it that part will, will tend to rot off so we get rid of the pith and the way that we do that is we just scrape it off. You want to make sure you don't cut too deep. That's still a pretty thick piece. I can cut this a few more times and break it down. I don't need it very long because the basket I'm thinking about doing is going to be a very fine basket. So I can split it again and split it with my fingers and just keep splitting it until I get it down to the size that I want. I will tell you that I've been weaving baskets for quite a long time. If you would like to purchase baskets from me, you can look for me in Nevada City. I tend to be in a tent because my husband's got a shop, but it's not got enough room for me to be in it. So look for me in Nevada City, and you can watch me weave, but also, if you're interested, you could purchase a basket. I would appreciate the financial support. Have a good day.